In this video, we'll be talking about various VVT assemblies. But before we move forward, if you like these car videos and you'd like to see more, click on the subscription button. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, click the bell notification in the upper right hand corner. VVV stands for Variable Valve Timing. Usually it is mounted on the valve cover, but it doesn't necessarily have to be mounted on a valve cover. It can be mounted directly to the engine's head. What does it do? Basically it retards or advances the timing of the camshaft. That in turn improves low speed and high speed torque on single overhead cam engines. In English, the VVT assists your engine with additional torque or power to get you down the track right now should you stump on the gas pedal. It also gives you torque or power to the grocery store should you live in a hilly neighborhood. VVT advances timing, giving you engine muscle right now because you need it right now. VVT also retards timing, saving you fuel, when you are driving over flat open land. If you never stress the engine, the VVT will not activate the engine's muscle. VVT muscle is only there when you need it. For most people, VVT extends gas mileage, thus saving gas pump money. True variable valve timing can only be done by computer operated solenoid systems. In other words, it has to be done by the computer. Computer operated solenoids calculate exactly when intake or exhaust valves should be closed. There are many types of VVT VVT, VVTI, VVTLI, and VTEC are designed to enhance engine performance without increasing exhaust or air pollution. VVT is a pseudo answer for turbocharging an engine. A turbocharged engine has tons of power, tons of torque but it also delivers tons of air pollution. VTEC stands for Variable Timing and Lift Electronic Control. VTEC was developed by Honda. VVTI stands for Variable Timing with Intelligence. VVTI was co-developed by Honda and Toyota. VVTLI stands for Variable Timing and Lift Intelligent System. Anyway, how would you know if your VVT is broken? Your check engine light will come on. VVT is a mechanical electrical sensing system. There are five data streams that feed the VVT. Engine speed, or RPM, vehicle speed, miles per hour, throttle position, engine load, which is measured by the MAP sensor, and the fifth one is coolant temperature. In addition to the items I just mentioned, you need to keep fresh oil in your engine. Engine oil, need to be at the right level, the right viscosity, and free of dirt. Dirty oil and a low oil level will affect oil flow. Your engine may be idling rough because of oil restricted oil flow. In other words, you need to change the oil as prescribed by the owner's manual. Remember, VVT operates in concert with the camshaft, which affect spark plug timing fire, which affect emissions, which affect gas mileage, which affect gas pump visits. A clogged VVT could cause engine problems that seem not to be related to the VVT at all. A clogged VVT could result in a loss of power for your engine, meaning that hill your car used to fly up with no problem is now a problem. Both the Miata VVT and the Honda VTEC filters are clogged, or looked clogged. This could have been another reason why we were having engine problems. VVT systems use metered oil passages that assist in valve timing. Thicker oil can cause incorrect VVT trouble codes. That means possible incorrect trouble codes when you connect your code reader to your car. Since most of us use a code reader to detect our problems, you could be fishing in the wrong location. Keep clean oil in your engine and keep your VVT filter clean.
If you like these car videos and you would like to see more, click on the subscribe button. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, click the bell notification in the upper right hand corner of the page. I'm out. Thanks for watching.